Hi, hello, welcome back from Black Friday. How did it go? Well, we got some upgrades to Decorative Pro and made it much more sleeker and smarter now. So while you were away over the weekend, we changed Decorative Pro from looking like this to looking like this. So this is a whole new design to Decorative Pro, which is more fresh, which is more functional and going to enhance your productivity and take it to the next level. So let me walk you through this new look. So first things first, as you can see, the nav bar is now changed and it's much more organized. So you will find your candidates and jobs under recruiting, your contacts, companies and deals under sales, your campaigns and recipes and automations. And likewise, you have your tasks, you have your reports and your dashboard over here. Now coming to the table itself, there are again a host of changes here. So let's start one by one. So for starters, you can now edit the data right on the table. And there are other data points as well that you can change, for example, I want to change the location i can do that i can change the job stage right on the table and all those changes will be recorded at the bottom over here all you got to do is click on save if you want to go ahead or just click on cancel and you will be taken back to your original view uh, so moving on so you have your quick filters on top over here now instead of on the right side and at the same time if you want to quickly search for something let's say i want to search for a candidate i can just type in their name or any of their data and that will be shown over here again uh, if you want to like customize the columns that you're seeing right now, just click on this icon over here. You can select what columns you want to view or change the ordering over here. So uh, in case you want much more faster way to change the ordering of the columns, what you can do is just drag and drop. That's it. So your columns are now rearranged. So this was everything on the table. Now let me walk you through other data points as well. So as you can see on the top, you see that there are all candidates, my candidates and leadership roles. So these are what we call segments. So you can basically create up to five segments on top over here, but there is no limit on the number of segments you can have created. So all segments is basically all the candidates that are there in your account, whereas my candidates are all the candidates wherein you are the lead owner. So if you want to, let's say, add more segments, you can just click on add segment button over here. And you will see that all your saved searches from advanced search are all listed over here. So you can quickly pick any of these and just have them added on top over here. You can add up to five segments on top over here. Now talking about creating more segments. So let me showcase how that works. So all you can do is click on create a new segment here. It will be taken to this particular box and it's very similar to advanced search. For example, let's say I want to create a segment where the current company is Dundo. So, so I'm going to click on apply. It will take some time. Then you can see that list over here and then click on save. So once you do that, you'll be asked to enter a name. So let me just name it as office folks. So now I can share this segment with my team or everyone in your account. Let me sh uh, share it with my team over here. If I click this checkbox, it basically adds that particular segment on top over here. So let me do that as well. Click on save and you'll see that the new segment is added over here with all those candidates who are part of Tender Mifflin. So uh, this is how you add a segment. If you want to edit a segment, what you can do is quickly click on the edit icon here. And let's say I want candidates who have a job added to their profile. Now click on apply. So now I have two options. So either I can update the same segment wherein the new segment will be loaded or I can create a new segment altogether. So let me just go ahead and click on update. So segment update successfully. So I can close this now. I'll see all the updated list of candidates over here. Now, if you're wondering how can I delete a particular segment, all you got to do is click on all segments here and just click on delete icon. Since it's a major function, you are asked to confirm by clicking or rather typing delete. So just click on yes, delete. So this was pretty much your new design for the recruit of flow candidates table. So currently this is on just the candidates page, but we'll be putting in this to all other places in recruit of flow as well. And if you're wondering whether advanced search does not exist anymore, it does. You can still go over here for advanced search or simply click on command K if you use an Apple laptop. Or if you use a Windows system, you can just click on Control K. And secondly, if you are somebody who wants to go back to the older design, what you can do is just click on your profile icon over here and switch this toggle to enable the old UI. Takes a second. 
and as you can see you're back to your old ui so this was everything about the candidate uh, table the new candidate table rather let us know what you think uh, i'll have some help articles attached to this video so that you understand how you can play around with the new design and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to us we are just an email away until next time